Hey everybody, um, this is my second video scenario of Spanning Tree Protocol, how to find all the uh, port roles. So if you watch the first one, you have a pretty good idea now of how to find all the root ports, the designated ports, the alternate block ports, a lot of the other good stuff. So now I change things up a bit. So what I did was on the derp route, uh, derp switch here on port two, I changed the port priority to 16. Now it defaults to 128, but I manually changed it just to see what would happen. And then this port here, port number one here, um, by default, it would add a cost of 19 because this link here, it's what it run, what it's running as, what it negotiated as, the flutter here, is fast Ethernet. Everything's fast Ethernet. It would add a default of 19. But I rigged the system and I made it a cost of 18 this port. So that changed a lot of things dramatically here in this topology. So a lot of stuff has changed just from the previous scenario. This is the same setup as the first video. All I did with these two things, change the port priority and change the cost. That's it. And boy, is it different. So let's follow the protocol and find all the, the roles again. So you know the drill <clears throat> by now. You should know by now. So let's go ahead and uh, figure it out. So let's look at TWI. So the lowest cost to the root bridge. We have these two ports um, that look like they have the lowest cost. So that ties um, bridge neighbor bridge ID ties again going to the, the same switch these two ports up here. Uh, now the next step is we look at the port priority that uh, by default is 128 at least on these switches, and this port two is 16. Well, 16 is lower than the default over here. On port 1, 128. So this side wins. Ta-da! This side wins. This port 2. So this port 5 here in TWI becomes the root port. So let's go ahead and make that our root port. Ta-da! Very different than the uh, old one that was before in the previous video, alternate black port. Wow, what a difference that makes. It's a tiny little thing like that. So let's look at Flutter. Let's find the uh, lowest cost to the root bridge. What's, what's the, the root ports now? So this one is actually quite easy. So this comes down to zero as a cost of 19. Here this is a cost of 38 because we add 19 from here, 19, 19. So this is zero, zero, 19 here. It says, yo, it's 19 because the lowest cost Right here we found the root port 19, so yay. 30 adds 19 here, so that's 38. So 19 plus 19 is 38. So these ports aren't any good. Those parts aren't good. So really, it's pretty easy. Again, um, right here, cost of 18. That's the lowest cost port to the root bridge, right? Because this is 18, port 1, this is 19, port 2, and these are 38. So no-brainer, right away, bam, found our root port. Pretty easy, huh? Before, in the old topology, that was the alternate block port. Can you believe that? One little tiny thing would change all of that. So this becomes our root port. <clears throat> Sweet. Found all our root ports. So let's find our designated ports now. So, do, do, do. let's take a look, <clears throat> for example, at the links here that don't have any port roles assigned. Let's look at this bottom one again. Here. Oops. Twy and Flutter on port 7 here and port 4. This link. So, which switch here has the lowest cost to the root bridge? Again, we want to find the designated role here and that the first step in that process is to find the lowest cost of the bridge. So we know TWI has the lowest cost, its lowest cost of the bridge is 19 because it found the lowest one here, root. 
And this has the lowest cost of 18 here. We change that to the root bridge. So this is 19, twy, and flutter is 18. Which one's lower? Flutter, obviously. So this side of the link here between twy on port 7 and 4 on flutter becomes designated. Wow, what a change. Before in the old video, if you paid attention, followed along, um, that would have been the alternate block port. So it's pretty sweet. Designated. And the same thing for, goes for this link if you follow the protocols finding the designated ports for all the links, which is pretty easy. So now that we found all the designated, uh, all the root ports, designated ports, the rest are just alternate block ports to prevent those loops. So this is alternate block port can't have a loop. This side, both of these are alternate block ports because again, Flutter won, won the war with the lowest cost to the root bridge. So those become, became uh, designated and the other side gets the alternate blocked. And to do, do here, we have alternate blocked because we can't have designated on both sides. That's a big no-no. And that's it. It's pretty easy to find all the uh, root ports, designated ports, and the alternate block ports. As long as you follow those rules I have down in the um, description, you'll be able to find all the rules effortlessly and really quickly. So I hope that was helpful and thank you for watching.